In this video, I'm going to briefly go over the open beta features for Diablo 4 Early Access Beta as well as the open beta. So the dates for these two different betas are for the Early Access Beta, if you've purchased the game, you'll be able to play this beta from the 17th to the 19th of March. However, if you haven't purchased the game, the actual open beta open to everybody is available to play from the 24th to the 26th of March. Now the release times or opening times of both of these betas will both be at 9 a.m. PDT on the starting day of each beta, and they'll both end at 12 p.m. PDT. If you want to know what this time is in your region, just go to Google and type in like 9 a.m. PDT or 12 p.m. PDT to get exact times within your own region. You will be able to pre-download the open beta before it actually becomes available, so you'll be able to have it, you know, and play as soon as it's open. Now, while in the open beta on the 24th of March, you will be able to play all of the five Colossus, Barbarian, Rogue, Sorcerer, Druid, and Necromancer. But if you're playing on the early access weekend, the one that is coming first, that if you have pre-purchased the game, you will only have access to Barbarian, Rogue, and Sorcerer. You will have to wait until the open beta weekend to play Druid and Necromancer. You should know that you're only allowed to have 10 characters on your account. The maximum level that you can reach within the beta is going to be level 25. You can't go higher than 25. For anybody who pre-ordered the game and is playing the early access open beta, they will be able to keep their characters for the next weekend for when the open beta weekend starts. So they'll be able to play both weekends. However, after both of these weekends have ended, all of the characters will delete it. None of these characters will cross over to the main game when the game releases. During these open beta playthroughs, you will be able to play the entire prologue the entirety of Act 1, the first zone, the Fractured Peaks, is yours to navigate as you please. You can go anywhere you want. This whole first part of the game, is you can explore everything. So that's actually very generous of them for an open beta. You should know that you will also be able to do four-player co-op with any other players. Couch co-op is also available, requiring only one person has access to the game, and you can still, like, you know, play with everybody else on your couch, like, for example, on PlayStation. In terms of multiplayer, if you're playing and killing demons next to another player or near another player, you'll get 5% bonus experience. And if you're with a member of your party and you're defeating enemies, you'll get 10% experience extra. During the beta, you will be able to earn three different kind of collectibles or things that you can take into the main game once you, if you've actually accomplished these. So there are three open beta rewards. Two of them are titles and one of them is a cosmetic item. The first title is the initial casualty title earned by reaching Kyovashad with one character. The second title is called Early Voyager earned by reaching the level 20 on one character. And the Beta Wolfpack cosmetic item, as you can see here on this little like back piece over here, this back item that this character is wearing, will be earned when you reach level 20 on one character. So basically just reach level 20 and reach a certain point in the story and you will unlock these things for your Battle.net account so that when you play Diablo 4, these things will pass on to your main game. Now, even after you finish Act 1 and you reach level 25, you can still do some crazy stuff like do this massive world boss event where there will be a massive world boss around at select times during the open beta. So you'll have to find the exact times when this world boss is out there in the world. And then you can really try band together with other players in groups to try beat this boss. Sounds like it might be difficult. Sounds like there's going to be a lot of people dying, but yeah, it might be interesting. There's a sizable loot bonus that uh, drops if you're victorious. I wonder if that means like loot for the beta or like something you can take into the main game for having beat the world boss. Maybe it's like some secret cosmetic item or title that you take into the main game. And that is everything you need to know about the open beta for Diablo 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.